Hello there, we just arrived at Rivington. Um, we're gonna go up to the park first, going through the terrace gardens. So we're just approaching uh, Leavers Bridge, part of the uh, Terrace Gardens at Rivington. Um, it was built in around 1905, I believe, or 1925, I may have got that wrong. But yeah, it's just behind me. You can just coming into view now, you can see it. Um, we're gonna explore the um, Japanese gardens a bit more. It's all ruins now, because it's gone into a bit of a disrepair, but I believe that they are uh, working on it and making it a lot better. seem to much inside anymore. So we're now making our way up to the uh, Pigeon Tower. Quite iconic around these parts and then just look at the view from over here. It's better each time we go up. Part of the uh, Japanese gardens is behind me. I believe it's called the Italian Lake. So we're now making our way up to the Rivington Pike Tower. We're almost uh, out of breath. There's quite a lot of steps. But we should be there in a minute. See it coming into view there. So we've reached uh, the Rivington Pike Tower. It's on the top of Winter Hill. Not sure how high we are up, but I think it's about around a thousand feet. It used to be a hunting hut. It's got three windows, I believe. And used to have a door and a wooden roof. Let's take a closer look. So you can see there's a window which is bricked up now. And uh, I believe this was a doorway. Not too sure, but it looks like one. Some uh, inscriptions written onto it. Not sure what they mean. They could be from a few years ago, maybe centuries ago. But beautiful structure that can be seen for miles around. So it's got a bit warmer now, the sun's come out a lot more. Um, just making our way up to the mast. We just run from Rivington Pike, which is just over there. And we're going up to Two Lads, which is up there, and that should lead to the mast. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful day. The sun's shining, it's a bit cold this morning, but it's a lot better now. So we'll see you at Two Lads. So we've arrived at two lads, two stone structures. I believe there's some kind of memo there. So 
So we've actually made it to the transmission station. I believe it used to broadcast ITV and the terrestrial channels, analog TV. Um, nowadays, I'm not sure what it's used for. Maybe a mobile tower. It's absolutely huge. See it there. So we've now made it to the trig point. As many of you know, when we climb mountains and the fells, there's an old trig point. I think it used to be used for measuring um, and lines up with most of the peaks around the area to make the ordnance survey maps. So we're making our way down now. It's quite a steep, uneven trail, but we keep going. So, so we just made our way down. Tough descent, very uneven. A few times when you land on our bum. Um, so you just got to take your time. There's a mast just behind us now. And then, I'm not sure what that is in the distance. Surrounded by moors here. Beautiful place, Winter Hill. So we've done it, made our way down. I think it was about 6.7 miles, uh, 1300 foot elevation. Tough going, we did walk in places, but most of it we ran. And now we're just heading back, we're gonna get a nice brew. Thanks for watching.